guys and welcome back to another video. Today I thought it would be the perfect time to get started on my spring cleaning. Why is this the perfect time? Because we're all stuck at home right now. As you know, there is a world pandemic going on. We are all dealing with the COVID-19 coronavirus right now. Schools are closed and I'm home with the kids and everything is just a little bit, a lot of bit off and crazy right now. So I'm going to get a head start on my spring cleaning. I know a lot of people have actually already started, um, but I was kind of waiting till like after spring break when the kids went back to school, but since that is not happening, we're gonna just bust this out. So today I'm gonna be doing the bathrooms and I have created a spring cleaning checklist for you guys. I'm gonna have this linked in the description box so you can print it out and use it to clean your bathrooms in your house. I'm also going to be doing the kitchen my bedrooms, all the bedrooms in the house, and the living area. So basically, we are gonna spring clean my entire house all in separate videos over the next couple weeks. So I'm super excited to be doing this for you guys and to have these checklists for you. These are so helpful. It gets me motivated to see everything that I need and everything that I'm going to do. But I'm gonna start in the kids' bathroom and then we're gonna do my bathroom. So we are gonna do this entire checklist for each bathroom and they are gonna be sparkling clean from top to bottom by the time we are done. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get our rubber gloves on and get to cleaning the bathrooms. Let's go. So I have my mop bucket, my mop. I have my floor cleaner. My favorite floor cleaner is the original Pine Sol. I've got cleaning rags, a trash bag. I don't have like cleaning rubber gloves, but we have these rubber gloves, so that's what I'm gonna use. I have my disinfectant spray, my glass cleaner, my duster, my scrub brush for like scrubbing out the uh, bathtub. I have a sponge. I have my toilet bowl cleaner, my bathtub cleaner, hot soapy water. I just use dish soap and hot, hot water, and then I also put a splash of pine salt in there. And then I have my step ladder. I have my vacuum and a couple of different attachments. So now I am ready to rock and roll. The first thing on our bathroom spring cleaning checklist is to clear the room. So if there's any laundry on the floor, we're gonna grab that and put it in the washing machine. We're gonna take off the shower curtain and I'm also gonna go ahead and go in my other bathroom and grab the rugs and towels out of there and get everything started in a load of laundry. So that way halfway through I can throw it in the dryer and then when I'm done cleaning both bathrooms, everything will be ready to be put back. Are starting in the kids bathroom today so now I am emptying the trash into the trash bag and then I'm gonna start working on emptying out all of the drawers and the cabinets and then I'm going to vacuum them out wipe them all down and then put everything away all organized nice and neatly
everything is put back and organized I'm gonna move on to step three on our checklist which is get rid of grime we're gonna spray the toilet down with disinfectant spray the bathtub with the shower cleaner spray the countertops with disinfectant and the sink and let all that just sit in while we move on to do a couple other things I'm gonna vacuum the fans and the vents with the attachment on my vacuum cleaner and I'm gonna dust the light fixtures Now we are moving on to step four, clean the wood fixtures. So I have my hot soapy water and I'm gonna wipe down the baseboards, the doors, the door jams, the cabinets, and the window sills. And then once we're done doing all that, we will move on to scrubbing down everything that we sprayed that's just kind of been disinfecting and soaking and getting all clean. We ain't gonna stop for nothing Put your hands to the sky If you catch in a vibe We ain't gonna stop for nothing Yeah
Moving on to step five of our checklist, we are gonna scrub and rinse. So we are scrubbing out the shower here, and I was on the struggle bus with my hair. It was driving me nuts that it was down. So here in just a minute, you'll see that the hair went up, which should have been up the whole time because uh, this is a workout. When you're cleaning, like deep cleaning a room, it is a serious workout. So anyways, we are scrubbing out the shower and rinsing it out. We're gonna scrub the sink and the vanity countertop. We're gonna spot clean the walls if there's anywhere that you see that needs to be wiped down. We're gonna clean the mirrors with the glass cleaner. We're gonna scrub out the toilet, wipe the toilet down. I'm gonna stick it to you. giving the toilet another quick spray with that microband cleaner and I'm going to wipe it down. I did want to mention that the rags that I use to clean um, everything in my house, I do a separate load of laundry with just my cleaning rags and I run them on the disinfect um, setting on my washing machine. Usually I'll use paper towels to clean my toilet just so I can like throw them away. Um, but there's kind of a shortage of like toilet paper and paper towels right now in stores because of the virus that is going on and uh, people stocking up on things. So I wanna kinda conserve the paper towels that we do have in the cabinet. So I am just going to use my cleaning rags and then like I said, throw them in a disinfectant um, setting wash on my washing machine. are moving on to step six. I'm going to vacuum and mop the floors. There is seriously nothing like the smell of a freshly mopped floor with pine salt, you guys. It makes me so happy. It just smells so clean and fresh and I just love it. Isn't that, isn't that funny? The things that we get excited about as adults and having a clean house. <laughs> Okay, step seven, we're hanging fresh towels, returning things that need to be put back in the bathroom. The rugs and the shower curtain weren't quite done yet, so I'm just putting the decor back and then we are gonna move on to the master bathroom and do this whole process 
again. So here we are. I am clearing the room. I'm going to move everything off the counters and stuff so I can get started on this checklist in my bathroom. So I'm emptying the trash into my trash bag that I use for the other bathroom. And here I'm just showing you my cabinet that is already organized. Berkeley and I just organized this in a previous vlog very recently and I had cleaned it all out. So I'm not gonna work on that one today since it's already done, but I'm gonna go through my vanity cabinets and get that all you know, vacuumed out and wiped out and put everything back and organized just like we did in the other bathroom. Now we're moving on to step three. I'm getting my rubber gloves on and I'm going to start spraying everything down and vacuuming the fans and vents and dusting and letting all of our sprays soak in. You know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes. Swing it down and Make everything disappear You can play my favorite song Put your rose-colored glasses on What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear Lay low in the picture, son Put your rose-colored glasses on Now I have my hot soapy water mixed with pine salt. We're gonna wipe down the baseboards, the doors, the door jams, the cabinets, and the window sills. What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear. Lay low in the picture, sun. Put your rose colored glasses on. On the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages. 
It's only the good sides Always pretty smiles are covering her face You know it is all lies You know it is all lies Moving on to step five, we're gonna scrub and rinse. So I'm going in my shower and I'm getting one of my shower heads going. So I have some water to use while I'm scrubbing, but you can see I'm scrubbing the windowsill up there and the walls. I clean my shower like every week, so, uh, but like a quick clean. But this, I'm actually like scrubbing down the doors and you know, all the corners and the grate where the water goes down and all of that stuff. So I just have that scrubber brush and I had sprayed that uh, tub and bath cleaner and then I'm just using water to scrub everything down and then we'll rinse it all down. I'm also going to scrub the sink and the vanity, um, clean the mirrors with glass cleaner and scrub the toilet bowl and the toilet. Won't let you touch me won't let you go to my head Cause I know I'm dealing with the devil But I'm standing with my heart in your head And I'm too deep into win this gamble Hold me towards you and I cannot fight it My head's underwater, I try to disguise it I want you to hold me, though we haven't spoken I need that something to get me open
and an extra step that I didn't have to do in the kids room but I am just using glass cleaner to wipe down the inside and the outside of my shower doors now I love having glass shower doors but you have to keep up with them otherwise they get looking nasty with fingerprints and water spots so we have a squeegee that we keep in the shower and every time we're done in the shower we squeegee it off but the bottom of the doors like down by you know the ground they get really like grimy with like soap scum and stuff so we're always having to scrub it and like wipe it down with glass cleaner but there's I think they're so pretty I just love these big glass shower doors when the lights out scrubbing the entire bathroom top to bottom and now it's time to move on to step six I'm gonna vacuum and mop in here Frozen feet, raindrops falling on the street. I can't recall when I last saw the sun. Summer's just a memory, a faded piece of history. No one can remember all the fun. The late night barbecue, zipping on a genie juice. And I'm just going to get everything put back where it belongs and when everything is done in the dryer, the rugs and the shower curtains and everything, I will get those put back. But that is going to be it for this video, you guys. I'm going to show you guys quickly how everything is like put back and organized, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I hope this gave you guys some motivation to work on your bathrooms. I'm going to be doing one room at a time or rooms, <laughs> bathrooms and having a printable checklist for you guys to print off and work on in your own home. So I hope you enjoy that. I really enjoyed making this checklist for you guys and filming this video for you guys. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you join our internet family. But thank you guys again. I really appreciate you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye.